I'm so excited to be recorded again. to do a hairstyle it's gonna be i guess medium length type knotless box braids with beads at the bottom hopefully it goes well um and yeah i don't really have much of an intro to do just stay tuned for the um for the end result and yeah so i'm gonna just show you how my hair look right now so this is how my hair look it's already um what is it called pre-parted already because I don't like trying to do all that parting on camera because I just, I don't think I would be able to do it. Like, I was crying when I was trying to part my hair because, like, I can't see the back of my hair. And then when I asked my mom, she doesn't do it the way I want it to be done. So I just need to figure out something for that because I can't. I can't go through it. No. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. But, yeah, this is how my hair looks. It's already, like, twist or whatever. So, like, all I have to do is just basically put my hair up into the ponytail and then just take each twist section by section and just braid each twist. So, I won't have to, you know, stop and part each and every, um, each and every section. But, yeah, so this is my hair. This is how I'm going to do it. And just stay tuned. I'm going to just show you all the stuff that I got. So, these are the beads that I want to use. They're silver and clear beads, if you can see. This is the hair that I have. This hair is already pre-stretched, so I won't have to do anything. And both of these are 18 inches. I didn't want my hair to be that long because that's mad work. So I got one B and then six 13. So I'm gonna come back to you when I have like half, well, most of my hair done. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Go watch my other videos if you haven't already. And let's get right into this video okay 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 hey guys i'm back and with most of my hair done i think i got this done probably in like three hours maybe this is how the front of my hair is looking i wanted to do blonde i've been wanting to do blonde for dumb long this is how the back looks hopefully you can see it but that's how it looks um I wanted to show you how I do the front of my hair. So for the front of my hair, I only have four twists left. So that means only four braids left. And yeah, I think I might do the these two blonde and then keep these two black. I think that's what I'm going to do. I actually start with the blonde first so you can see how I actually do my hair. I feel like blonde would be better. But you see how, you know, the whole process is. I was trying to explain how you would be able to see how to braid better because the hair would be blonde. And you would be able to see the difference between my hair and the extension. This is how much hair I have, blonde hair I have left. I'm just going to separate it a little bit. This whole time I've been using small parts and it's been like saving me a lot of hair. So with this, I just usually just, I don't even know, I just pinch the hair and that's how much hair I take. I don't be using a lot of hair because you always can add more hair on. So I just, I literally just pinch it and then pull it. I don't be using a lot. For each braid, I use, I use a minimum of four strands of hair and the maximum probably of six. So I'm just separating it and then just putting it on my thigh. I have six on my leg. All right, so I have my twist, right? And for this part, I'm gonna be using a 24 hour edge tamer. So yeah, this is what I'm using to lay my stuff down and I just put it all around. I take some of my edges out. Uh, so I couldn't fully explain how I did the other braid, but I'm going to try again and see if it works this time. Okay? Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is separate my hair into three sections. So I have one... One, two, and three, right? Three sections. So 
So with the three, I hold the back part in between my, what is this? My index finger and my middle finger. I hold it like that. And I hold the middle piece between my thumb and my index finger. Then I take the piece and I put it in between the first one and then I put it where the middle section is at, as you can see. And then you're just gonna braid normally and make sure you grip everything. Just braid normally. One, two, three. Then once you did it like three times or two times or whatever, you take another piece of hair and you do the same thing. Take it together and then you braid normally again. And then you take another piece of hair and just keep doing it. If what I'm saying don't make sense to you, you could go back and watch it without sound. Because sometimes when people explain it to you, it might be harder than just watching somebody do it. You know what I mean? Now take another piece of hair and just do the same. And also with the hairs that I'm adding on, I'm also twisting it. So it could not look bulky or like obviously see that there's added hair there. Sometimes you could just take some more gel and just smooth it down. And yeah, that's all I do. I don't know if me showing you how to do the black side is going to be much help because it's black and you're probably not going to see the difference between my hair and the added on hair. So that might be a little bit more confusing. So hopefully you followed along when I did it the first time. And you just braid all the way down. Also comment down below what other hairstyles you would want to see from me because I like to do a lot of hairstyles. I really do. I need to start like an Instagram page or something because I be doing mad hairstyles. Um, I don't really be taking pictures and stuff like that. But yeah, just let me know what you want to see and I could do it. I could do anything, honestly. It's just like that. Like I could do anything. It's not that hard. Hair is not hard to me. So yeah, that's that side. Now I have the other side to go. It's not that long, let me show you. This is how long it goes. Right underneath the boob. It's not that long. I didn't want it to be that long because the look that I was going for doesn't call for it to be like that long and stuff like that. So now on this side, I'm gonna just do black. But yeah. My arms hurt so bad. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna walk through this one because I don't want to talk no more. <laughs> so just watch. Not that long, 
And this is how it lo is looking right now. Cute, cute. Hold on, I'm gonna turn. Ugh. This is how the back looks. Hopefully you're able to see it. That's how it looks. But right now I'm gonna just do like a little clean up because I have hair all over the floor. So I'm gonna clean up real quick and then I'm come back. I'm gonna probably do um the beads on, what is that called? I'm gonna do the beads on time lapse because it takes too long. And then after that, then I'll just show you my finished product and that's it. So yeah, let's get into it. So before I start doing my beads, I just wanna give a disclaimer. Do not mind this right here. This is because my chair rubs on my wall and it makes marks and I haven't had time to paint over it. So don't mind it. But yeah, I'm gonna get started with the beads. <laughs> show you like these all the braids that I have the beads that I have right now and I'm gonna just do the rest of my hair off camera because it's gonna take a long time yeah um after my beads I'm gonna just fix my edges and then I guess come back to you and show you the finished product of my hair so yeah hey guys I'm back and I just finished my hair or whatever and this is how it's looking right now it was like two braids that didn't have beads but I'll probably get beads later on not that big of a deal but this is how it's looking this is the front this is the back that's how it's looking um i don't really know if this is what i wanted to give but is what i have to give so yeah i can't really change or anything right now i'm not gonna do that because that's too much work but yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with the style, but yeah, it's a little cute, you know, style or whatever. So yeah, this is how I was looking. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Go watch my other videos if you haven't already. And stay tuned for my next videos that's coming up. So yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. <laughs> I'm doing too much. Okay, bye.